Hey guys, Jason Shepard here with RemotePilot101.com and further helping you guys prep for the FAA Part 107 Knowledge Test. Today we're talking about chart symbols and let's do it in context of the test. Let's start with a question here. What is the height above, the, above ground level of the unlit tower located southeast of Riverview? Riverview is this town up here. We can tell it's yellow congested area. That's how we know it's a town. These charts are north up, so we know south and to the east. We can find all these towers here. The question said two things very specifically, and this is why it's so important to slow down and read these questions because the FAA tries to trick you sometimes. So slow down and read this again. It's asking for the height above ground level. That's important because we get these in MSL as well as AGL, height above mean sea level and height above the ground. And then it said of the unlit tower. So let's look. We can tell these towers here have lights because they have little lightning bolts coming off them. That's the symbol, I mean this is a lit tower. The only unlit tower is this tower right here. It's at 1,077 feet MSL, height above mean sea level, or 996 feet AGL. C is our answer in this case. MSL and AGL, don't be confused. We always joke in manned aircraft, we say that, hey, this is what your altimeter will say when you hit the top of the tower, because we set our altimeters to mean sea level, and this is how far you'll actually fall, because that's how high you are above the ground. This is taken from the Tampa Bay area, so there's not a huge difference since they're so close to sea level as it is. Good stuff there from the obstacle example. By the way, just a little bonus, this little flag here is showing a VFR checkpoint, meaning manned aircraft pilots could report, hey, I'm over the TV towers, and air traffic control would know where they're at. I've seen that asked a few times on the test. Next question here, this dashed magenta line thing. What is the dashed magenta line that extends through the Plant City Airport? Okay, here's Plant City. There's this weird dashed magenta line going right on through it. What is that dashed magenta line that extends through the Plant City Airport? Is it an isogonic line, the runway direction indicator, or a Victor Airway? We know this, and, and uh, users of RemotePilot101.com know this, but this is A, an isogonic line. And we use this to tell the difference between magnetic and true north when we're planning our cross countries when studying to become a manned pilot. We use these isogonic lines. So in this case, it's only five degrees. It's not that significant, but look out at it in Washington state. Look at it in Alaska. Big difference between true and magnetic north. Let's look at one more here together. What's happening here? What other aviation activities should the remote pilot in command be mindful of at the Zephyr Hills Airport? All right, here's the town of Zephyr Hills. Oh, here's the Zephyr Hills Airport here. I don't see anything fancy airspace-wise. Here looks like some Bravo going through, but it's outside of the Bravo. What's happening at the Zephyr Hills Airport? Is it gliding and skydiving, extensive helicopter traffic, or large air carrier traffic? We're looking at Zephyr Hills. You look just to the right of Zephyr Hills, you'll see a little parachute showing skydiving activities at Zephyr Hills and a sailplane with a G above it, meaning gliding activity. A is your answer. Gliding and skydiving also takes place in addition to the usual manned aircraft operations at Zephyr Hills. If I had a gig working around that area, I'd be on alert for skydiving and gliding activities in around the Zephyr Hills Airport area. Something to be mindful of. Hope this really helps you guys as you're prepping for your test. Listen, RemotePilot101.com is still leading the way. We're still at number one in part 107 test prep. In fact, look at the numbers here. The FAA released that there were 4,503 tests taken. 621 of them failed. Remote Pilot 101, we've had 1,988 and only three failures to date. That's over 45% of the market has used RemotePilot101.com. Guys, we are here for you. The course is $99 and it's yours for life. So in two years when the FAA wants you to retest, 
well, you'll have it. And the course will be bigger and even better. Every day we're updating videos. Every day we're adding videos, updating questions to continue to make this the best product on the market for Part 107 Test Prep. Visit RemotePilot101.com to learn more.